I want to ask you some questions about uh, one of my favorite rebel girls, uh, Elizabeth Gurley Flynn, about whom you've written. She comes out of a working class family and uh, she becomes very quickly a rebel. Uh, tell us a little bit about how she got to that place. She was really influenced by her own family. Actually, both of her parents were members of the Knights of Labor. Both of them were Irish immigrants. Actually, her mother was an Irish immigrant, and I think her father was a child of Irish immigrants. So she grew up in this working class Irish family that just had a very strong sense of justice of the need for working people to come together in order to create solidarity. And she brings this into her experiences um, in terms of first moving around the Northeast and the Midwest with her father who worked as a map maker for a while, meeting um, women and children in industrial towns and seeing how poorly they were treated, and then around 1900, becoming a socialist. So her family, mm -hmm. actually all of them became socialists. So she converted, as she put it, to socialism around 1900. And it seemed to Elizabeth Gurley Flynn and her family that here was finally an explanation for why workers were treated so poorly and a vision for how they could work together to achieve change. So what was it about Elizabeth Gurley Flynn's femaleness, if you like, womanness, that turned her into a rebel? Or would she have become a rebel anyway? I think the fact that she was a woman was really significant. And at this point, in the early 1900s, you start to see women speaking in public for a variety of things. You start to see women on the streets advocating suffrage. You start to see women speaking on behalf of labor issues. So there couldn't have been an Elizabeth Gurley Flynn kind of earlier on. It's hard to imagine a young woman who could have been so outspoken and would have gained an audience. And she was also very much part of the Greenwich Village crowd in the 1910s that was challenging um, sexual orthodoxy. And the fact that she was a young woman talking about revolution just made her a completely fascinating figure for people. She reminds me a lot of Emma Goldman, one of our favorite heroines yes. who actually stood on a soapbox as early as 1893 and yes. declared, yes. You know, if you need bread, take it. Yes, and she was absolutely inspired by Emma Goldman. She saw Emma Goldman speak and met her, and she just thought Emma Goldman was amazing. And the fact that there was this outspoken immigrant woman who was talking about birth control, Flynn just thought was incredible and inspiring.